Nearly 20 years ago, on my first fishing trip to the Amazon, I was in a hardware store looking for rope and other supplies when I caught sight of something that stopped me dead in my tracks. It was about a yard long, with a profile just like a chainsaw, except that each vicious-looking point was fully two inches long. What I'd stumbled upon was the snout, or rostrum, of a fish the locals called the araguagua. This is an animal I'd been vaguely aware of from my youth, but which I'd never actually seen. In the comics and adventure books of my childhood, this creature was normally depicted as a sea monster, usually brandishing its serrated weapon at terrified skin divers. But I don't ever remember seeing a picture of a real one. And until that hardware store in Brazil, I'd no idea that this large and wickedly armed fish might swim up rivers. The animal in question is known in English as a sawfish. Giants over 20 feet long have occasionally been caught. And legend has it that these monsters will even attack boats. In the 16th century, the Swedish chronicler Olaus Magnus states that this terrifying fish will, and I quote, swim under ships and cut them, that the water may come in and he may feed on the men when the ship is drowned. More recently, a story from India talks of a man hacked in two. If those accounts sound far-fetched, then more believable, perhaps, is this newspaper article from the 1930s about an attack off the coast of Florida. The story goes that a fisherman harpooned a large sawfish in shallow water. But when the brute spun round and struck the boat with its snout, the tables were suddenly turned. I shudder to imagine that rack of teeth scything into human flesh. Despite severe injuries, the victim in this instance appears to have survived. But I've long wondered if the animal that attacked him could be the most fearsome of any fish to lurk in a river. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.